Okay, we're going to talk about the export of Tylos information uh, into Excel to update the minimum and maximum fields. So, if you remember our previous video, uh, those fields are held here on the Details tab. Uh, and if you can't see them, you can click on this um, Custom Fields button and you can get to this dialog where you can see all the custom fields and you can turn on and off the ones that you want to see. But it's laborious to fill these in manually. So what you can do is you can export that information to Excel and we're doing it using this first option at the top of the screen. We're going to send it to the clipboard so we can paste it into Excel and we're going to choose a make a new exchange profile which we're going to edit because these are the rules by which we will um, which data fields we're going to export. So we only want to export tasks so we've got to tick that and we can either double click here or we can click on this button to get into this point here. So the first thing must be there is the task ID number. And once we've got the task ID number, it's also worth having the name of the activity. So I just scroll down or type the first letter N to get the first thing begin with an N. And then we're going to locate the duration field. Uh, and we're also going to locate the integer um, one and two fields. Um, because that's where we're going to hold the minimum and maximum. So I can double click here or I can move them back and I can uh, move them over here. So you see it's got the order of the fields 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. That's the columns that they'll be in. So we've made those rules. We don't only have to do that once. It'll be there the next time you do it. We don't have to worry about any of these things because we're only taking that basic information. We confirm that profile and that profile is added to a list that will be there regardless of which Tylos project you open. So we just click on finish and it tells us it's done all that. Let's put it on the clipboard and we can close that. So then we need to get Excel, which I've got over here, uh, and we're going to paste it because it's on the clipboard. So there's the information that we've just brought in. Uh, and rather than typing it by hand, I think I'd rather say that I'm going to use the formula. I'm going to take the original duration um, and use the 90% value of that and I'm going to use the regular duration and I'm going to take 25% more of that and I think these columns really should be uh, integers themselves so I don't want any decimal places to, to come back and once I've done that I'm going to copy those uh, fields and I'm going to just drag that down and we're going to copy that formula right down to the bottom or you could shift click at the bottom uh, so we've got those durations uh, minimum and maximum duration. So we just now um, select those columns, those five columns, and we copy them back to the clipboard. And then we go back to Tylos and we go File Imports. And it's the top option again. We're going to take plain text data and next. It's on the clipboard. We see there's grey text. If you haven't got the grey text, you haven't copied it in Excel. Um, I would say next and we don't want to use the same profile because we don't want to bring the duration back we just want to bring the minimum maximum so we're going to copy that duration and we're going to edit it and we're going to call it QRSA import and again you've only got to do this once and we're going to double click on the word tasks and we're going to take the duration out of the list so it's just got we're not changing the numbers because they're in the same columns we're confirming that twice and then we're going to click on finish and it tells me that it's updated all these tasks and it must say updated because they already exist so then if we look at any of the values we see that they've got the minimum maximum duration so now you can then export this uh, in the way we showed you before to create the QRSA file that you sent to the team so that's how you import and export um, minimum maximum duration in minutes. Thanks for your time, simple as.